This is Steve Ember with the VOA Special English Agriculture Report. There are 68 million hectares of genetically engineered crops. This is about 5% of all cropland in the world and expanding. But debate over how best to use this biological technology continues. Experts compare the rise of biotechnology to the period of change in the 1960s and 70s. The Green Revolution produced the modern systems and chemicals of agriculture. Productivity increased in many countries. Today, the United Nations and others are calling for a gene revolution. Experts say the world must find new ways to fight hunger and feed its growing population. But unlike the Green Revolution, biotechnology has been supported mainly by private investment. Businesses are unwilling to share trade secrets with countries that do not recognize their property rights. Companies also want to earn a profit, so they develop crops for large markets. 99% of genetically engineered crops are either soybeans, corn, cotton, or canola. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization says little research has been done on food crops like wheat, rice, potatoes, and cassava. An FAO report last month expressed concern that biotechnology is not helping developing nations. Six countries grew 99% of all biotech crops last year. Argentina, Brazil, Canada, China, South Africa, and the United States. Almost all these crops have special genes to resist damage by insects or by chemicals used to kill unwanted plants. The FAO says there is little research on biotech plants that could resist crop failure in poor countries or provide extra vitamins. Director General Jacques Diouf says scientists generally agree that foods made from genetically engineered crops are safe to eat. But he adds that little is known about their long-term effects. He also says there is less scientific agreement on the environmental effects, so each product must be carefully observed. Public opinion is a big issue in the debate. Opponents say there may be unknown health dangers. Some poor nations have refused any food aid that contains genetically engineered products. Yet the industry has had some successes recently. Last month, the European Union ended a six-year suspension of approval for new biotech foods and Brazil has been moving to let farmers plant genetically engineered soybeans. This is Steve Ember.